taking the time this afternoon to watch this video and let me share some updates with you on what's going on in Martinsville. One of the things that uh, is coming up and it's going to change a lot of lives is the closure of South Street. Uh, we've been preparing the last few months to close South Street uh, to do the area between the new bridge and Ohio Street. Um, this will take approximately nine months to accomplish. Uh, they're going to start here. I think the closure's scheduled for April 4th, and uh, they're going to actually widen South Street and then put sidewalks on both sides. This will be very valuable to us because as we've all traveled down through there, we realize that it's not been a safe area the last few years, especially with the, the bridge and the added traffic down on the south end. So again, that's scheduled to close April the 4th. Uh, they're supposed to have it done within nine months, so we're anxious to get that uh, completed. Then we're also going to be letting the construction on Ohio Street. Uh, and once we get more of a timeline on that, we'll come back and give you more information. Another thing I want to talk about is the new four-way stop that was voted on by the Board of Works. Uh, the Board of Works asked the uh, Police Chief Richards to do a traffic study over on Morgan Street, East Morgan Street, and Sycamore Street. Back in 2020, we took a couple of parking places away from the corner of Sycamore and Morgan Street because as you were coming either from the north on Sycamore or from the south there at Morgan Street, it was difficult if you were looking back to the west to pull out there. So we took a couple of car spaces and parking spaces away there. Then with the construction of 69, the state came in and reconfigured all the parking along there to streamline the traffic flow through the downtown. Now that most of the construction is through on 69 and, and the highway is open, we're able to come back and slowly put things back in place as they were uh, in the downtown area. Uh, we made Mulberry Street back to two-way uh, instead of the one way to the north and one way to the south. And then, but Jefferson Street, we're going to leave that as it is. So there'll be one way to the north and the one way to the south. So with that being left that way, then there was not a need for a stop sign there. So if you go in then to Sycamore Street, it made sense to put a four-way stop there for a few reasons. One is to allow us to put parking back on the south side of Morgan Street. You know, right now there's no parking on the south side of Morgan Street from Mulberry all the way to Sycamore. We're gonna plan on putting that parking back there. Uh, NDOT will be coming in to repave Morgan Street. We're not exactly sure when, so we're going to later on, either in April or May, come in and restripe that the way we want it to be done. And by making the four-way stop there, we can put the additional parking spaces there on Morgan Street as it was prior to 2020. So that's gonna give the merchants more area uh, for parking. The other reason for that is if you're heading east on Morgan Street, and you keep coming through the, between Mulberry and Maine, and you come on Mul Maine uh, to Jefferson, and then on over to Sycamore, the lane you're staying in, uh, when you get to Sycamore going east, that becomes a turn lane in front of you. So there's a traffic pattern change there because from Sycamore all the way out to Hospital Drive on Morgan Street, that's a turn lane in the middle. So there's a path, traffic pattern there that we want to try to change and make aware, people aware of. So we feel like that was a safety issue. And the third reason is to help slow people down going through downtown. Uh, this will make it safer for people to cross the streets uh, and, and visit the merchants that we have downtown. So there was a lot of thought that went into this. I know a lot of people are concerned because it's something that's different. Uh, we've got a barrel in the middle right now to help make awareness of the four-way stop. Uh, we do have some of the red flashing lights that we will put on the stop signs, but unfortunately, as we've all experienced, they are back ordered. We're waiting for them to get here. 
So as soon as they do get here, we will get those on there. And then another thing that uh, I just want to mention is, you know, we're getting into our rainy season. Uh, last fall, we put some drywalls in in different areas of the, the city to help with the drainage. It's not a perfect solution, but it's the best that we can do at this point. So we're going to be watching those areas and uh, hopefully we have improved most of them uh, and uh, it'll help with, with the drainage. Again, we understand this is not the perfect solution for the drainage, but it's the best that we can do at this point. So a lot of things going on, a lot of things changing, unfortunately, and we'll keep coming back each week and trying to keep you updated on what's going on. Take care and thank you for watching.